welcome back to my channel. We are going to be looking at an Essie collection today, the Essie Spring Collection, and it consists of six cream polishes, and I actually really like this collection. I think I'm beginning to start a little love affair with Essie because um, I didn't I didn't pick up in any of the cashmere polishes or any of the the bridal set, but as far as the spring and the summer sets go, I think that they are doing a really good job. So, yay, Essie! Um, there are a few polishes in here that are maybe a little bit on the thin side, but honestly, they're all totally workable, and there's some in here that are absolutely fabulous. So, we're going to go ahead and get started, because I always do. I'm going to tell you what's on my lips. This is Revlon Super Lustrous Lipstick in 805 Kissable Pink. kind of like a, it's a shiny one. Okay, let's get started. I'm gonna start with the one that I have on my nails here. This is called Petal Pushers, and it is just this absolutely gorgeous gray that I feel like it has like a, just a tiny pinch of purple in it or something. It's so soothing and gorgeous. I have just one coat on here, and I think you definitely do need a second coat, but this applies so nicely it's not goopy it's not streaky it's not fussy it's not runny it's not thick really nice in the formulation so i appreciate that so much it's just this, such a nice soothing shade and it's not something you typically think of for spring i think which is why one of the reasons why i like it so much so let me show you how it applies in two coats Okay, there are two like blue-green shades in here where they definitely have some blue and some green in them. And this first one is the lighter one and it's called Blossom Dandy. And it's kind of the color of my shirt here. Um, and it's what I have on my thumb. But it is just, it's such a nice, soft, like very soft turquoise. Um, really, really pretty. This is great at two coats. I didn't have any problems with formula here. so. I'm really happy about that. I just really like it when I get through a whole collection and I'm just like, oh, I can use all of these polishes. So yeah, let's take a look at this one. Right, the darker of the two blue greens this is called garden variety so as you can see there's such a nice rich color while not being like too in your face um, it's so pretty I practically got it done in one coat but I would recommend two. the only thing I have to say about this one is I did find that it stained my nails just a little bit um, which is unfortunate I was wearing base coat too so I don't know, if you have issues with staining and you have other colors just like this that don't stain you, well then you might maybe want to pass on this one, but it's such a pretty color. So um, yeah, anyway, let me show you how Garden Variety swatches.
the first of the two nudes is called Perennial Chic and it's the lighter one. This one I definitely needed two, almost three coats. It was a little um, thin. It wasn't horrible to work with. I definitely would wear it again, but I do probably have other nudes that are just this same shade that um, are maybe a little bit easier to work with. So, just to keep that in mind, especially when I was comparing it to the other nude in this collection, I preferred that one much more. So, anyway, I'm going to go ahead and show you how it swatches. Alright, the second nude is called Picked Perfect and it's just a darker version. I actually really like this one. It was practically good to go at one coat, absolutely stunning at two. It's a nice consistency of formula so it just works really well. This one's like a no fuss nude which I totally appreciate. So let me show you how it swatches. Alright, last up for this collection we have Flowerista, which is this gorgeous, um, it's definitely a purple, but it like runs a little bit rose in there too. So, so pretty, really great formula. This is kind of like the nude that I just talked about. You really don't need to mess with it that much. It's really nice and rich and it doesn't have a frustrating formula. So, um, yeah, I really, really like this one. Let me show you how it swatches. So that was the whole bunch. Um, I think that there are maybe a few in here that you could probably pass on, but overall I think it's a really good collection. Um, yeah, it makes me excited about spring even though I know we're on the end of spring. This was the collection that I had waiting in, like I had ordered at the very beginning of March and I finally got refunded at the like tail end of April and I just purchased it again from Head to Toe Beauty. Um, so that's why this one's kind of late, but I did want to go ahead and show it to you because I picked it up loving the colors and so I wanted to show you guys um, just in case you were kind of on the fence about it or anything. So anyway, now you know my feelings on it, you've seen live application on it, and um, yeah. I hope that you enjoyed this video, I hope you found it helpful, and I hope you have a really great day. Bye!